to Darlington Station, where today we're attempting, well, I'm attempting to travel from Darlington Stoncaster via as many train operating companies as possible. So I've just boarded a northern train and we're taking this via as Thornaby, where I'm going to change through a Trans Pennine Express service. And the rest of my plan will shortly be coming up on screen in some incredibly designed graphics, which definitely wasn't done in PowerPoint. So this is the plan, starting off at Darlington, we take a northern train to Thornaby, and then from Thornaby we change to a Transparent Express train to North Allerton. At North Allerton we change to a Grand Central train to York, and then at York we change for a cross-country train to Leeds, then from Leeds we change for an LNER train straight to Doncaster. So we've just left Thornaby. And as a special treat, I've decided to go first class. Yes, don't ask how much it costs. But on this leg, I have the entirety of this first class section to myself. Manchester, Victoria, Manchester, Oxford There's just no one else here. And now I'm waiting for a Grand Central service, which will hopefully, if it runs, take me to York. I had a slight panic part way through because Google suddenly declared it was cancelled, despite the fact it is obviously here and none of the station displays are there. But Leeds is the next stop, and this is my fourth train operating company. journey, but there is another first class lounge at Doncaster, so 
I, I will get my tea there. But it's a shame about no catering. Departing leads. On the fifth train I've taken today, and the final one, Darlington to Doncaster, which means that overall I have travelled on five different train operating companies. Getting off that class 221, so I'm probably going to end the video here. But uh, I get to spend the next hour in the first class lounge, should be fun. <laughs>